Hi, welcome back to Life on the Rock. I'm Doug Barry, along with Father Mark. We are your co-host, compadres here at the Rock House. That's what we are, Father. And we have with us tonight a Father Ron Camarda. This is a great show for Memorial Day because we are honoring, in Memorial Day, we honor, we honor those who've passed, especially the military. And Father, you've brought us some great banners here and such from the military, and we're going to get into about your life. But great to have you on the show. Thank you Thank for being you. here with us. Hurrah. And uh, now you are a military chaplain. Navy. I am. You're, you're retired though, correct? I am retired now. Now. 2005. Right. But retired reserve, so they can still call me back. Oh, okay, there you go. So. Wait a minute, I didn't want to put that on. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Wait, I hear the phone ringing right now. All right, so now you were, at the time, back right before you went to Iraq, and you were in Iraq for, for nine months, I believe, you were just about to hand those papers in, you'd had your 20 years, and you get a phone call. Yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> in uh, 2004, and we heard all the things that happened with the Abu Ghraib prison and the Battle of Fall the Fallujah was really heating up really bad. On, uh, I, on June 22nd, I had 20 good years in the reserves and I was about to put my papers in. And on July 5th, I got a call from the reserve unit. A captain called me up from New Orleans and said, hey, Padre, um, do you have any experience with the Marines? And I said, no, I was lying, of course. <laughs> but, because yeah, I should right here to Father Mark. No mental reservations. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but, uh, but, but you, because you knew they were going to call you. Yeah. And then he said, yeah. well, pack your bags, you're going to Iraq. Oh. I said, there's no way I'm going to Iraq. I've done everything to avoid this. And I've been out for seven years. I was a pastor at a parish, uh, inner city parish in Jacksonville for five years at St. Patrick's. And then they give me a, he says, uh, well, we need you. And I says, yeah, but. I don't want to go, he says. <laughs> you sound a bit like Jonah here. <laughs> Most people say they want to go, like the Marines and stuff like that. But I was a Navy chaplain. We served the Marines, the Coast Guard, the Merchant Marine, and the Navy. And so over there, they, they needed some priests. They said, well, Father, we don't have a priest over in that area. I says, well, that's, I mean, I'm too old. I'm 45. Like, yeah. Don't send me out there. So. Can we like, not refer to 45 as old, please? <laughs> Is that how old you are? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. It's great. Yeah. Uh, you, you do all that exercise stuff in the summers. Still with your working kids. out, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, the, uh, in, um, so I also asked, I said, you know, I just qualified to retire. And they asked me, did you put your papers in? I said, no, I didn't put my papers in. Because it was just yes, a couple days ago. And they said, well, good. And I said, what? I said, I have season tickets to the Jaguar games with my father. <laughs> and they said, well, that's a pretty good idea. That's a good one. That's a good <laughs> nah, it won't work. Uh -huh. And then they gave me one more time, and they said, uh, <laughs> I, I said, uh, I, well, what if my bishop removed my endorsement? And he said, well, two priests have already done that. Uh -huh. And I said, thank you. That's a good idea. And I hung up the phone, and the orders arrived on July 15th to report August 2nd, 2004, and I didn't tell anyone, and I took the orders, and I walked over to the chapel at the church, and I placed the, the orders right in front of the tabernacle, and I just prayed. I said, Jesus, I know you don't want me to go, so I'm going to ask the bishop to remove my endorsement. Now, is that a prayer that tries to convince Jesus <laughs> of the answer you're wanting from Exactly. Him? <laughs> you want to make God laugh? Tell him your plans. Right, I heard right. that before. Yeah. But I actually got a, a tap on my shoulders almost. It was a really moving, close moment mm -hmm. for me. And it was Jesus saying to me, Ron, I want you to go. I said, no, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> I says, you can get those other two priests to go. He says, Ron, I need you to go. He was even using my confirmation name. Moses. Mm. <laughs> uh, interesting. My grandfather's name, you know. And I said, Is Jonah in there in your name anywhere? <laughs> he said, and then I said to him, I said, Jesus, I complain too much. And he says, Now that's true. <laughs> and he said, um, Ron, I really need you to go. I says, Well, the real thing is I'm scared to death, Jesus. I, I was so terrified. And I, and I, I really am a nervous people. My, my friends know that. But and Jesus really comforted me with his, I felt his presence in the tabernacle, right in the place. And he put it in my heart to go, so I went.